Good afternoon, Brookdale Public Radio 90.5 The Night. Jeff Raspi here with Brian and Alicia from The WAG. Hello. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Good to see you. Um, we are chatting today because coming up on December 11th, which is a Saturday night, you guys are going to be doing your uh, Christmas Spectacular uh, this year at the Strand Theater in Lakewood. The Strand yep. Theater that is now 99 years old. Yeah. I looked it up nice. to make sure. I knew the Centennial was coming, but I looked it up to make sure what it was <laughs> this year. Um, so it's 99 this year. So this is cool. Uh, beautiful, beautiful old theater in uh, Lakewood, uh, New Jersey. So first of all, how did you guys... like? I, I know you've done this type of show before. Um, what brought you to the Strand for this one? Well, I mean, to be honest, we, we've been looking for different venues that, that we could put our show at. And we recently recorded a, a session at the Strand mm -hmm. and we, we fell in love with the theater. And we thought, you know what, this, this could be a really nice fit for us. Um, it's a very, you know, friendly atmosphere. The people yeah. that work there were awesome. And we, we just thought it would be a good fit. And it's a beautiful theater, and it's a little bit further out than we've played places like that. So it's good to, you know, be in a slightly different area, too. Yeah. yeah, that's, I mean, that's for years, every time I've either convinced somebody to come to a show at the Strand or brought somebody to a show, they kind of walk in and go, you know, jaw to the floor, like, yeah has this always been here? And I'm like, well, for 90 something years, it has. Yeah. So, so that's very cool. So December 11th, the, the WAG's Christmas Spectacular at the Strand Theater in Lakewood, 400 Clifton Ave in Lakewood. Uh, so now uh, it's called the Christmas Spectacular. So what is planned without giving anything necessarily away? <laughs> 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 well we, we got a very fun evening set um, the way the way i i pitched it basically to the strand was that um i'm a big fan of the holidays and i've always loved the holiday specials that are on at christmas time whether they be classic cartoon specials or or old time specials like um the andy williams christmas special okay or the yeah. Martin christmas and, and i thought you know what when I go to see holiday shows from other bands or other acts, um, I, I love them. For the most part, um, what you'll get is holiday music and, and that's it. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool to incorporate some of the things that from the past, like um, dance numbers and, and comedy sketches. And, and so I, I combined it all together and we came out with this, this really fun show, which is family friendly you know, all ages can enjoy it. And we decided to put it together and call it the WAG's Christmas Spectacular. It's like one of those old timey shows that you see on TV, only it's live. Yeah, live music. I mean, if a TV band. camera wants to come and, you know, broadcast us by all means, but. We have a fake TV camera. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like, imagine being at a show, like there, there's a, a camera operator yeah. and there's an applause sign. It, it's. Yeah. We go all out. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's goofy. So if you like humor, this is perfect. Well, that, yeah. And that's, and I mean, you guys have been around now for 20, 20 years or more, 23, 23 years now. Um, so I, I venture that uh, almost everybody in the area has probably seen you guys play somewhere, sometime. <laughs> over the last something years, um, not the least of which any number of SPCA events. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, we've done their dog walk for 20 something. Yeah, I think 20 years. years. Yeah, which, which like, because um, us, we at 90.5 The Night have been involved right. with a number of SPCA dog walk events and Brookdale has as yeah. well. So <laughs> it was like, if you came to one of the dog walks, odds are you saw the wag. <laughs> <laughs> yes <That's> right <laughs> um and I, I was joking with somebody today actually i was like yeah they may have gotten the gig the first time because of their name but Maybe. it works it's possible. 
I mean, it's just a coincidence, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> and and whoever at the SBCA obviously liked you enough to invite you the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time. Yeah. We're in forever, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> the lifers. <laughs> Even if we, we made stardom and, and you know we're playing Madison Square Garden, it's the it's time for the dog walk, people. Yep. We'd still come back. That's right. <laughs> the only thing that, that might hurt it is if you change the name for some reason. Yes. Well, I mean, after 23 years, you're kind of stuck. You're stuck. With this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Rasby here with uh, Brian and Alicia from The Wag. We're talking about their upcoming Christmas Spectacular at the Strand Theater in Lakewood. Coming up December 11th, uh, 7.30. It's a Saturday night. You did mention, I think, something that is very important about the show is that it is family-friendly, all ages. Because, mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, almost by definition, a holiday season show should be family yeah. friendly but yeah. most of them won't be a rock show right so you guys right. are essentially doing a you know a rock show plus yeah yes with with all of the surprises you have planned yeah <laughs> but i mean we're a pretty family friendly band anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> throughout the year but this is especially family friendly yes yeah um and uh so and it, what did I, I read that uh, there's something about Christmas around the world? Oh yeah, for, so for this doing, show, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a little running theme where we're going to play songs. I guess basically from around the world. So we might do a, a holiday song from Ireland, mm -hmm. and then switch it up to a, do a song from Mexico. Um, I think we have Spain. We have Hawaii, a Hawaiian Christmas song. I'm going to guess that's Meli Kalikimaka. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> might be. Um, so we thought that might be fun, you know, to uh, every now and then break into, hey, you know, now Christmas from around the world to Germany. And then we play something. Oh, Tannenbaum. Know, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> 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 so we thought it would just, uh, you know, make it more interesting for the folks. It just adds another layer to it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's like, when I, when I first read that, I was like, that's actually, that's perhaps the most ingenious idea for the mm -hmm. night. Um, oh, well, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, you should see all the ideas I have that Alicia shoots down. <laughs> <laughs> You're not spending $400 on that costume. 
Yes. But it would be so much fun. Speaking of which, there are some costume changes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I won't tell you too much about it, but there are some costume changes. It might be worth the, the price of admission alone. Yeah, yes. Yeah, where do you uh, see him? <laughs> no skirts. <laughs> well, uh, maybe a hula skirt. I don't know. Uh, but the whole the whole around the world thing, I think yeah. it, it it'll be good for the audience who will have a varied background to yeah. hear a Mexican holiday song, a German holiday song, an Irish holiday song, an Italian holiday song, whatever. Yeah. And and we're we're we plan to do it justice too. It's not it's not gonna going to be a hokey thing, right? You know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do our best with it. Yes, yeah. and no cultural appropriation is right. happening like we're the songs that we're doing from those countries we're honoring those countries and any sort of costume that we might have is to honor those countries it's it you know it's yeah. all about honoring those countries it's nothing else yeah because because i mean I, I i used to work with somebody who was really into the history of um christmas in the broad sense but basically kind of all of the end of year celebrations holidays that happen between whatever late november to early january um and uh, he was irish but mm -hmm. he had uh he <laughs> he was he was the kind of person he is the kind of person he still does it who would put up like seven christmas trees with oh, yeah with antique ornaments and stuff like that and one would be uh styled as this is the kind of tree they would put up in germany this is the kind of tree they would put up in ireland you know oh, that kind I of i like that very cool yeah so th there's there's more to the month of december than a lot of people yeah. think about or realize absolutely agreed so, so it's good that you're you're going to sort of, I almost want to, I hope it's not coming across like it's going to be a school assembly. That's not, <laughs> that's not the intention. Um, but, th but that, so the, the education part of it, I think is, is a, a good and important aspect to the night. Sure. Yeah. Um, a little, little education. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so besides learning, you know, the normal, Christmas holiday songs. Mm -hmm. How's the band taking? I should probably uh, focus this question at Alicia uh -oh. uh, and and Don and Josh. How's how's the band taking to having to learn holiday songs from around the world? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> we're professionals, so we do our homework. Uh, some of the songs we've actually known for a while, anyway. A uh, couple of the songs are relatively new to us, but we've had since he came up with the idea to learn them. <laughs> so <laughs> we got them. We actually performed them today uh, when we were outside at our Red Bank show. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've done them. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how long have we been working on this idea? Um, I guess it started a little bit last, uh, was it last year? Maybe, maybe last oh, wow. year. Okay. Yeah, it was just like an idea forming. I, I kind of like... Um, you know, spring things on everybody last minute because uh, then there's less of a chance of them saying no. And see, Don and Joshua are lucky because I'm the filter that everything goes through. <laughs> so I might be, no, and it never gets to them. <laughs> They're lucky to have me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Yes. laughs> For that reason them, alone. I put them in some comedic situations and uh -huh. uh, I, I tell them about it the night of. <laughs> Oh. Hey Don, by the way, I'm going to read this story, and you just have to put on this hat. And it's like, what? <laughs> but know. they're good sports. Yeah, they're, they're great. Good. Yeah. So it's not like this, you know, started a month ago. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no you, you ever hear Christmas in July? We start practicing like July. <laughs> you have to, you know, to yeah. get it down. Yeah. Well, and everybody, <laughs> it's just like uh, I get asked all the time about, you know the christmas songs that appear for radio um mm -hmm. or the releases you know the the records the cds that come out um because they all come out in december maybe the last week or two of 
Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's like you realize that they were probably in a studio in June yeah. re- recording this, which is difficult just to put your head yeah. in a, I'm singing a song that's not coming out till December and it's very December related. Yes. But it's 98 degrees outside. <laughs> but what did you just tell me the other day about Elvis? Oh, when Elvis, I heard when Elvis made his Christmas album, it was like in the middle of summer and he was like, all right, but I, you got to decorate the studio like Christmas. I have to feel like oh, it's Christmas outside. Yeah. You need the atmosphere. Yeah. And, and it's a great, it's one of my favorite Christmas albums, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. So, That's that a good nice. idea. Yeah. yeah. Jeff Raspi here with Brian and Alicia from The WAG. Once again, their uh, big Christmas spectacular is happening Saturday, December 11th at the Strand Theater in Lakewood, 400 Clifton Ave in Lakewood. For tickets, visit strand.org. It's not just a show. It's not just a concert. There's more. (laughs) (laughs) There's so much more. (laughs) And the, the tickets are priced really well. There's a uh, $20 to $25, depending on what, what, where, you uh, where you sit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, coming December 11th, Saturday night. Uh, and it's, it's early enough, I think in the month, it's not so close to the holiday that some folks to, uh, should have the time on a, yeah. uh, on a Saturday night to come uh, to see uh, what, what uh, should prove to be, not only a great show musically, but uh, funny and uh, educational to a certain <laughs> degree. Um, who know? I mean, because it's one of those things you never know who's going to be in the audience. And if you suddenly decide to sing, you know, a holiday song or a Christmas song from their homeland or from where okay. their family comes from, that will hit hard. Yeah. That will be because I'm sure you know in the middle of Monmouth or Ocean County, they don't get to hear sure. a song like that from, from their own, you know, family past kind right. of thing very often, unless, you know, family is there. Um, yeah. So to, to, to see, you know, uh, a band on stage sing, you know, whatever, again, don't want you to give anything. Not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could be a fun, interesting thing to happen. Yeah we're, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We're looking forward to performing for a um, audience. Yeah, a, a nice varied audience. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Uh, Strand.org for tickets to the WAG's Christmas Spectacular at the Strand Theater, Saturday, December 11th. For more information on the WAG, you can visit thewagband.com, mm-hmm. as always. And again, thank you so much, Brian and Alicia, for hanging out with us for a little bit today. Uh, uh-huh. And uh, we will hopefully see you Saturday the 11th at the Strand Theater in Lakewood for the WAG's Christmas Spectacular. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>